Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. Injustice 2 has just released and it's got me thinking about superhero games. The Batman Arkham series, Lego Marvel, The Punisher and the smash hit that was Spider-Man and the X-Men on the Super Nintendo. Okay, it was terrible, but I liked it anyway. Before I get sidetracked any further, here are 8 superhero field video games coming soon. Let's start off with Marvel's attempt to invade the MMO space in Marvel Heroes Omega. So if you're a PC gamer, you'll already know about this one as it was released back in 2013 in an attempt to face off with DC Universe Online, but it never really got the exposure you'd expect. Well the time has come for PS4 and Xbox users to get their grubby hands on this one. You can sign up for the PS4 beta right now and it will be free to play when the final release is made available. This is an action RPG where you'll fill the boots of your favourite superheroes, levelling their stats and attributes to fight the way you want. That could be ranged attacks for Hawkeye or up close and personal like Deadpool or Batman. Ah shit, he's DC isn't he? Which is better anyway, Marvel or DC? Shout out your allegiance below. Have you heard of the Avengers project? Well it's so early on in development that all we have is a teaser trailer lasting less than a minute. In it we see the wreckage of the Avengers, Iron Man's arm, Cap's shield, Dr Banner's glasses and Thor's hammer. You know the hammer, the one with the unpronounceable name. Mjolnir. Mjolnir, yeah. Nailed it. What's interesting about the Avengers project is who make it. Crystal Dynamics, the long-time developers of the award-winning Tomb Raider series, in collab with the Deus Ex developer Eidos Montreal. That's a triple threat of creativity there, and I for one cannot wait to see what they produce. We'll be waiting a while as the project will not be shown again until 2018. There is a hashtag that goes along with the trailer which is reassemble. What could that mean? Please let me know your thoughts. Another Marvel influenced fighter is on its way in the shape of Marvel vs Capcom Infinite. There's been a few of these in the past and although they lack the finesse of say Tekken, they still offer something which no other fighter can. Mega Man and Ryu beating up Iron Man. Things get even more brilliantly messed up though through the story mode. Want to see Chun-Li teaming up with the Avengers? Well she's here, spinning star kicking the shit out of everyone she meets. And look, even Chris Redfield from Resident Evil is here. Marvel vs Capcom is a truly ridiculous mashup which improves every iteration. Are you grabbing this one? For me it's either this or Tekken 7 and I think Tekken 7 has the edge. Ahoy, motherfuckers! What about Agents of Mayhem? This one isn't linked to Marvel or DC, which is pretty hard to find in this day and age. Well, Agents of Mayhem is set in the f***ed up universe of Saints Row. That's a quote by the way, I never b swear. This one is good versus evil on an intergalactic scale. It's a squad shooter with 12 playable characters and is essentially a bullet storm of pandemonium. This game will nigh on certainly yield an 18 rating just for its language alone. In fact, you'll know an Agents of Mayhem fan from a mile away as all they seem to shout is Ahoy, motherfuckers! If storyline and character development is what you want from your superheroes, then check out the Guardians of the Galaxy from Telltale. I'm sure you already know about all the Telltale games there are out there, but if you don't, this is an interactive story with multiple options and variations to each and every part of the story. It doesn't have the film likenesses which can put some newcomers to the franchise off, but if you want to know what happened when the Guardians went up against Thanos, then check it out now. <laughs> the Guardians of the Galaxy. Show me how you die. Keep in mind this is episodic, and a new episode is released each month, culminating in the fifth and final chapter. Another game where you play as a Guardian of the Galaxy is Destiny 2. 
one. This is going to be huge and you will be overexposed in no time. It's a first person shooter with some third person elements. The first Destiny game was criticised massively for its frankly non-existent story. But over the past three years, the storytelling has improved massively and the gunplay is almost perfect for consoles. If you buy this one, you'll be collecting loot for years and that sounds fantastic to me. If you're getting this on PS4, please add me and let's raid together. I'll throw my gamer tag in the description below. Today we know our enemy. His name is Gary or Gil. Glenn? Is it? I don't know. It's something with a G. Go. Insomniac Spider-Man PS4, that's a working title by the way, is next on the list and puts us in the shoes of Peter Parker and his web-slinging alter ego. One question is on your mind, will it be as good as the SNES version? We'll know its quality soon enough, but Sony are keeping a tight leash on this one. We are still waiting to find out what criminals and supervillains we'll be hunting down, but hopefully this one will play similarly to the Batman Arkham series, but with less depressing sights. By the way, I think Peter Parker is wasted as a photojournalist. He should be a web designer. You love the puns? I love the puns. Everyone loves the puns. Finally, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Are they superheroes? They have magic swords, they can use telekinesis and they have mind controlling powers and fight to save the galaxy too, so yeah, these are superheroes. Battlefront 2 is looking damn good at this early stage and will have us fighting for the dark side across 30 years of action. It will pick up at the end of Return of the Jedi and it will go all the way through until The Force Awakens. I have a video which breaks down what to expect in Battlefront 2, so I'll link it at the end of this video if you're interested. But that's it, that's 8 superhero fueled video games coming to us very soon. What floats your boat and who would win in a fight between Marvel and DC? My money's on Marvel and the crappy superhero ever, Man Ape. It sounds terrible, doesn't it? Man Ape. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. Please give us a like if you think this video is worth it. I'll see you next time.